So this is the final part of being intentional when building trust. You know, like I was saying, Genesis chapter 18, verse 17. God does not owe Abraham anything. This is God of God, King of Kings. This is ancient of days. This is the creator of the angels, creator of Lucifer, creator of the planets, creator of the earth that Abraham is walking on. This is God who created Abraham. He doesn't owe him anything. And because there is a relationship, because God calls Abraham his friend, God couldn't go to Sodom and Gomorrah. After being in the, in the house of Abraham, God could not move to, to Sodom and Gomorrah and rain fire on the place without discussing, without sharing it with Abraham. Because he understands. So the God we serve and the God we're following is a God that even leads by example. A God that created Abraham couldn't go and execute what he had said he was going to do in Sodom and Gomorrah without discussing it with, with his friend. Abraham, he couldn't, go, he couldn't go and do it. He had to share. He had to be open. He had to be transparent. Hmm? He had to be transparent with him. Because God understands. When it comes to relationship, God understands. He understands the things he understands trust. He understands it. He understands it. You know, it's very important. That example, that example is a, is a highlight. God himself understands what a relationship is. And we, we, when you keep going down in some of the scriptures, you see how he dealt with, he, he deals with some certain people. And this is what he wants us, his children here on earth, to emulate and understand. When it comes to relationship, when it comes to trust, there are certain things you can just cover up and just go scot free. There are certain things you don't you cover up. No. You have to be open. You have to be transparent with him. You have to discuss. This is what I'm going to do there. And gave Abraham the opportunity to even intercede for his nephew. Because God understands. It's very important. You know. If God will be transparent to Abraham, a mortal man, a mere man, who falls sick, who dies. If God can be transparent with him, then why why are you? What 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 is your excuse? You, a human being, <laughs> why are you trying to be shading everything? No, you have to be transparent. You have to be transparent with your relationship with God. I'm telling you, you have to be transparent. You have to be open to Him. You have to be open when you are dealing with Him. You have to understand I can't hide anything from you. You can't hide anything from Him. Even some of the things you have never told any human being, God is aware of it. But he gives you the benefit of the doubt. He will not talk about it. He will, he will, he will, look, he will look at you and see. Will, will he bring it to me? Will he discuss this with me? Will she discuss this? He knows what is troubling you. He's, he's waiting. I want to come to him and talk to him and share with him. This is what I'm going through. This is what is going on. This is that. This is that. Are you going to come to him? God requires a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with us. Because he's a God of relationships. Look closely there in your Bible. Read your Bible closely. He's a God of relationships. He's a God that will, will let a man like Moses see him. Hmm? See his back. You think there's no trust? There's, there's a kind of a level of trust there for him to reveal that side of him to a, man, a mortal man, a mere man who dies, who falls sick, who gets angry like Moses, for God to reveal himself and let Moses see him. He's a God of, he understands what relationship is. He's a God who understands what trust, trust is. And he needs that kind of trust.
to build any strong relationship, it has to be built on trust. It has to be built, has to, it has to be built on trust, sincerity, openness, transparency. Very important. So when you look out there and you see a lot of Christians are not building this relationship with God, it, it is going to create a lot of problems. If you know you are dealing with God, I don't know what is going to stop you from being open with Him. I don't know what is going to stop you from being transparent with Him. I don't know what is going to stop you from sharing what is really going on truthfully with Him. No. A lot of believers don't know this. A lot of believers don't understand this. this a lot of pulpits are not talking about this. So people think they can play God. They think the pastor in front of them is an interface between them and God. You are a liar. He knows you. He knows the time you sleep. He knows the time you wake up. He knows where you go to on Wednesdays. He knows what your favorite food is. He knows everything about you. But he, he keeps watching to see, are you going to come to me? Do you want to build a personal relationship with me? Is that what you want? Because anybody who decides in your heart that I want to build a personal relationship based on trust, based on truth with him, he will reveal a sight of him to you you will never forget till you die. Hmm? If he revealed himself to people like Moses, why will he hide himself from you? Having to read your, your word of God, that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever, he never changes. Having to read your Bible, also another problem why a lot of believers are some way because a lot of people are not reading the word. So a lot of simple, simple, basic revelations believers are supposed to have, they are not getting it because we have refused to read the word of God. It's very sad. So when he gives you some, some of this, when he gives you some, some of the chances like this, I come and tell you about who he is. He is a God of relationships. He is a God who understands relationships. I'm telling you. You know. And this, this is the final part of be intentional when building trust. Be intentional when you're building trust. You know. To be able to send, to be able to command your angels. There are certain attributes you need to you need to build up in yourself. I'm telling you. To be able to command your angels, there are certain attributes you, are, you need to build up. Truth is one of them. Transparency is one of them. Discipline is one of them. Consistency is one of them. To command your angels, to send forth the angels assigned to you. They are certain attributes they will check for. The angels are sent by God. And you see, if you really look at the, the person of God, hmm, you find all of these attributes inside of him. And if you even look at the angels of God, a lot of them, a, a lot of them carry and embody a lot of these attributes. Truth. Hmm, the way. Hmm? I'm telling you, a lot of the attributes that God has, a lot of his angels also have inherited it because they were created by God. And they stand by it. It's very important, you know, to be able to send forth your angels, to be able to have authority when it comes to spiritual matters. There are certain attributes you have to build, you have to build yourself when it comes to it. Physically here on earth, if you're not a man of your word, your words are, you are whatever you say is lies. You cannot command your angels. Because your angels don't move based on lies. They move on truth. They move on what is truth. They move on what is the word of God. Hmm? The angels of God, what warrior angels like Michael. Master, <laughs> you need things, you need discipline, some, some certain things, certain attributes, truth, discipline, integrity. You need all of these things to be able to command your angels. Very important. You are playing with a lot of things. 
This is the final part. Thank you once again. This is still Christ Without Borders.